uh, babies. I burped on the mic because I blessed it. Okay, so, um, you know what I'm about to say. I'm about to take you to the land of the moon of... Uh, What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I says, why it's coming to America? And let me say, oh, my God, nothing can top the original. I guess, hold on. Um, Alexa, what year did the original Coming to America movie came out? So, in 1988, I was like, I was six years old when this ga game, I was six years old when this movie came out, all right? And I didn't really quite get all the jokes and the tropes that happened from the original. Yeah, the original, but... As I got older, I was a teenager, I got it. I was like, oh shit, this movie's fucking awesome. Whatever. But this movie right here, I came home from work. I seen posts on social media that, oh man, Twitter, oh man, this 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 movie's good, whatever. Black Twitter was like, well, the Scorpion show, Kevin, he liked it, then my mom liked it, and um, those are the only people that I've heard that they liked. I mean, that's, my inner circle is small. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so the thing of this movie, movie is is it i think when i was watching the movie it was like wait a minute okay it was 30 years since the original so it's like the 30th anniversary of the first movie that's what i've gotten when i've watched this movie the tropes is there it's just like the original they kind of bridge the gap or re-explained not really bridge the gap but they re-explained everything that happened from the of the original was it, you know i liked it that you know because i was like oh i remember that scene um okay now prince prince hakeem in the beginning of the movie living life as a prince with his a beautiful wife lisa mcdowell queen lisa mcdowell well not yet <laughs> princess lisa mcdowell and they had four daughters i think it was four or or was it three no it was four i think it was four daughters i don't fuck it four daughters you know the oldest daughter was like she's been trained to be a queen of whatever she she has been trained since birth to inherit the throne all right now his ailing father king joffrey jofa uh, <laughs> Um, pro proclaim that you have a son and then Sammy spilled the beans like yes uh, uh you remember when we went to that club trying to find a good bride you know that fucked up club with them two slutty rappers and that transvestite I left your ass and I I, I met Leslie Jones and she had a friend with her I fucked a friend and you fucked Leslie Jones that's what happened and now all of a sudden you got a son his name is Jamal. No, it's not. It's Lavelle. <laughs> but uh, uh, now, but Lavelle's character, I liked. I, I liked his character, you know, So because he, I think he was a, a scalper of tickets. And he was, hey, he was raised by his uncle, all right? He never had a, Prince Akeem wasn't there, so his uncle kind of raised him. So... He was a ticket scalper, and then all of a sudden, Lavelle was like, I'm tired of selling tickets and shit out in front of Madison Square Garden. And so he was in the job interview or whatever. The interviewer was like the son of one of the Duke's brothers. I think it was Mortimer, or was it the other dude? Oh, that, that racist fuck. Anyway, the, the, the fucking Duke brothers from Trading Places, you know how they fucking, you know, like cross-contaminate other fucking movies to the next. I don't know. He, he, he's in there. The old the, the old guys wasn't there. This is they had their son, um, one of Duke's brother's son. They were interviewing Lavelle, and then that interview just turned out to be dog shit. You know what I'm saying? It was a good scene. You know, Lavelle was trying to like one up the white guy. He was trying to low key disrespect Lavelle, and then he left. I don't know. Anyway, he's trying to find his place. He's 30 years old. He he he, he doesn't have a purpose. All right, that's what Lavelle is going through right now. He lacks purpose. He he never had a a male role model or whatever. What the fuck? Anyway, so after Akeem got the news of he having a son, he was pissed off. Like, what the fuck? Why did you hide this from me? I, I don't understand it, you know. But I was like, oh shit! I already knew what was, was going to happen by you know certain things that things on the internet has explained to me long lost son going to america to find his ass so he could have a male heir to the throne because supposedly jamun the law only a man can be ruler of that country you must have a a, a prince a king never 
he, he don't have bo- well at the time he knew he did he he don't have boys he 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 got these two four daughters I'm like but it's like what the fuck anyway I'm rambling so the the whole dynamic of the movie it, it was like it was like old school meet new school whatever some of the characters were like highly funny like the barbershop people they must be like 140 years old now because. In the original, they was old as shit, and now they they just look older as shit. You know what I'm saying? I was, they still funny, you know. Most of the characters was played by Eddie Murphy, except for the barber that was sitting next to the head barber. You know, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's his voice. The, Arsenio Hall played that other character that was eating greens in the original, but he was eating greens and ham hocks in this movie. I don't know, but I I loved the dynamic. I I liked how the characters progressed they was so over the top and hokey but that was the charm of this movie really it, it, it's this movie is kind of like a like okay i'm i'm gonna turn this movie on so i could get a quick laugh and then turn it off and play video games or read a book you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but i mean hey what can you expect i saw the movie for free in a way um, if I didn't have Amazon Prime, then I would like. Some, mm. Oh, I'll probably watch this movie for free anyway because I got Fire Stick. Allegedly, y'all can watch the movie for free. But, <laughs> but yeah, this is a feel good movie. I there was no scene. This things are subjective. You, you you may not like this version of the well, this sequel to Coming to America, but it did have a trope in there that. <laughs> like what what like La- Lavelle and the, the you know like the barbershop lady that Lavelle fell in love with they were talking about movies and how why would you make a sequel like the original was just fine why would you make a sequel <laughs> you know what I'm saying like how how can you, because you know how you certain movies in Hollywood like the original was so good why would you fuck that up and make a sequel it was mm, more so on the lines of that. And I was like, what the hell? They did that on purpose. <laughs> because I think they heard what, what people were saying about how they're going to make a sequel from the original movie. They had to put that in there. I, I don't know if that was last minute or they just put that in the script beforehand. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a feel-good movie. You know, I mean, if we seen more of Jamunda in this movie than the original because it was just America in the original uh you know, preferably prefer preferably Queens. I can't say that word right. How you spell it? Preferably. Preferably. Anyway, it is what it is. I enjoyed it, man. If you got Amazon Prime man, go go ahead and watch this movie for what it is. Don't put your own interpretation on this it's Watch this movie with an open mind. And I know it's hard to do that because a lot of us grew up on the original. But shit, sis, do as I say, damn it. Fuck it. Shit, asshole. Anyway, that's it. This movie discussing. Now, review. Movie discussing. Hit that like button. Social media links be down in the description box below. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification. Gang. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. That sounds so 2019. Anyway. Bye.